RevengeDev.com. How are you doing everyone and welcome to RevXDev. Don here with a little take a look on or review on the Warframe's Nexus Android application. So as you know to find the application you have to access the Play Market on Android, type Warframe in a search and there you have lots of applications available. So this one was the app that I used before. It's not a Warframe official application but it worked well has lots of uh, alerts, invasion notifications, codecs, stats on Warframe's weapons, mods, and so on. It was, it was pretty useful. If there's any uh, alerts going on, you can simply get a notification. So this is the official Digital Extremes, as you see there under the application name Digital Extremes. This means this application is official Warframe or belongs to Warframe or Digital Extremes. Never mind. So the application was kind of heavy. It was heavy. Though I'm constantly using Wi-Fi internet, not cell phone internet or mobile phone internet. And still it took me a lot of time to download it, like 10 minutes I guess. It was very heavy. Never mind, it's still under development, right? So here's the application. It had, of course, the codex, stats on any Warframe. Actually, it didn't actually have uh, recent Warframes uh, until it got updated, like the, the Ivera, Vukong and so on. Just, you know, those old Warframes that everyone has and so on. It was cool because you could uh, flip the screen and use it in a horizontal mode, not, you know, vertical. It was kind of cool, but yeah, nothing special with this app. I mean, there was, you couldn't access your foundry, you couldn't access your inventory, just, you know, like I already said, some stats, infos, some sort of alerts, and so on. As you can see here, the application was very laggy, very unstable. And actually, all the PNGs or pictures or icons that you you had in the application of all weapons, of all mods, they went straight to my gallery, which sucks. So any, every time you access your gallery to see your pictures, videos, whatever, you see all of those pictures from the Warframe application. So that was that was a bit annoying. But never mind, if you uninstall the application, all of that goes away, of course. So yeah, it was pretty simple, nothing special about it. There's, as you can see, there's no new um, uh, Sentinels, only the ones, yeah, the Kubros are there, but the new Durga um, Sentinel is not there, was not there. But never mind, this is just to have an idea how the old application was looking like. It was not so good. I had to uninstall it after doing, or just take, taking a look on it. Also, one of the annoying things that I faced was that the alerts were like constantly popping up like every five minutes and just vibrating the phone, making making signals that there's a new alert and you access and there's no alerts. I don't know, maybe that just was a bug. It was constantly freaking showing some alerts, invasions and freaking ringing the phone, vibrating the phone every like literally five minutes. That was really annoying and after after having the application some time, I had to delete it because it was really annoying, but never mind. So the application got updated and that's what it matters. And it's still under development. That's that's the coolest thing. Never mind. And again, here is how you get the new Warframe Android application. You access your play market on any Android phone. You type Warframe and there it is, Warframe Digital Streams. This is one that is official and this is one that I am taking a look on. So. There you go, they updated the uh, the page, the applications page with some screenshots so you can see how the application looks like. You click install and it's gonna take you around uh, 38 megabytes. Yeah, there you go. So it's pretty easy to install like always. Simple as hell. So see, it is funny how the, the version of the application is 4.0 and also the ratings, like people's feedbacks and the rating is also 4.0. Very, very nice coincidence but never mind this one is actually way faster than the older application downloading it installing it it was like like legit three times faster so that's already a quite an an upgrade and update so the only glitch that i found while uh, accessing it is that you can flip the screen and you can't use the application in horizontal mode only vertical only vertical and that sucked as you can see here i had uh, I had the, the screen flipped using it horizontal mode and the application glitched as you can see it's everything's bugged so I had to uh, I had to close the application and reopen it again in a vertical mode I guess yeah so simply log in with your uh, email password like always hopefully they'll patch that with time the uh, the horizontal mode so we can use it you know widescreen that'll be very nice 
But never mind, it keeps constantly checking for updates, I guess. Um, yeah, for alerts, invasions. But uh, yeah, this, this application is still under development. It is still very buggy. But at least you can do some stuff. You know, at least you can access your foundry and all that stuff, everything. There's some settings. You can turn sounds off. You can turn the, the usage of your um, mobile or cell phone internet because you know if you don't have any it's gonna use only Wi-Fi internet if you're at home or somewhere with your friends so yeah it has your foundry as you can see it has here some uh, items or things in progress it's kinda weird cuz I was also building um, the new Rubico and here it doesn't it doesn't just simply show the weapon because I think it simply doesn't have the recent weapons that we got from update 18 but that's not the case they're gonna add that with time but never mind. So here's you have stuff that is ready to build. I would love if they would upgrade this just calling thing because here to add more you need to press on load more. And that's kind of that's kind that kind of sucks cuz you need to, you know, every time load more, load more, load more. But that's fine, I guess. I mean, they're going to they're going to upgrade and change that with time. So uh yeah, you can see your Kubro, the ones that you have active, you can put them in, in stasis and all that stuff. Like I already said, the app is still under development. As you can see, there's lots of glitches. I was trying to access the arsenal, but it didn't kind of work. But never mind. At least in this application, you can see alerts. I hopefully they're gonna work well, not like the other, the older version of the application. Alerts, invasions. You can access your codex, your foundry, and that's that's already pretty good. As you can see here, the application lagged kinda, and I had to. Um, sort of free reopen the app again but that's that's not a problem I guess just to let you know I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S6 and as you know that phone has a very good CPU RAM and all that stuff I don't know how it's gonna perform on your cell phone what kind of a mobile phone you have but hopefully hopefully it's not gonna be heavy and boogie yeah you can see all the stuff uh, Warframes like I already said it doesn't have all the recent and the most recent stuff that we got in Warframe, all the frames, uh, I mean the frame, <laughs> Ivera, Wukong, also doesn't have Wukong, uh, some weapons, probably mods also, so, but never mind, that's, that's upgradable, they're gonna hopefully add that with time, I don't know if I should recommend you the application right now, maybe I would recommend you the app only in one case if you're if you know that you're going out somewhere you're gonna sleep at your friend's house you're gonna I don't know visit somebody you're gonna be like all day AFK somewhere in somebody's house or I don't know somewhere else where you'll have internet and so on and you know that you're gonna be the whole day without internet without playing nothing you can of course install the application and try to you know just put something to build, put some, I don't know, formas to build, potatoes to build, some large energy or shield restores to build. I always do that. When I have nothing to do, I just access the foundry and put stuff to build. So I guess that's what you can do with your application. Like I already said, if you have nothing to do, if you're going out somewhere and you know that you're going to be the whole day without playing games, without accessing your PC, then you can simply access the application and just do some stuff in Warframe, I guess. Nothing special, of course. You can't, like, I guess, uh, fusion mods and all that, you know, extra stuff. Or add some focus, whatever, to your uh, operator and so on. Hopefully, it's going to be there with time. So, the only wishes that I have for the application right now is they could add the, the horizontal mode support. You know, when you, when you switch the screen, so it could be widescreen horizontal mode not always vertical because sometimes it is annoying I don't know I prefer the horizontal mode but never mind hopefully they're gonna add that too hopefully they will just stabilize it a bit more so we could do more stuff actually I forgot to tell you here I'm watching the footage that I recorded there is the uh, some news yeah there's a, a specific uh, tab or a page for news where you can see for example the latest patch notes from the forums for example for update 18 the second dream as you can see this 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 thing I kind of liked it It was pretty cool without just simply accessing you know the forms the browsers here you have all the patch notes which is kind of cool but don't don't forget that you need to log in right you need to log in with your account and it's pretty cool oh my god look how freaking how many uh, how many fixes and stuff they added to the game you, you literally have to spend one day to read all of that so if, if you want to entertain yourself and read all of the fixes and know what kind of stuff happened to Warframe and what they upgraded 
as you can see here, you can you can also watch some gifs, some emotes, and all that stuff. It was it was pretty cool. I just like I like the the feature that you can also zoom zoom in, zoom out. It was it was kind of cool. So just to check some comments, some hilarious um, memes and gifs and all that stuff on the forums. It was pretty cool. This feature I kind of liked it with the news and all that stuff. Yeah. So uh, it doesn't mean that it's always up to date because we have already a patch 18.0.3 if I'm not wrong and the application has only 18.0.1, yeah. So yeah, it is kind of cool. It is kind of cool. I'm not going to give it any ratings like from 0 to 10. I'll probably give it a 6 or 7 because it's cool. There's, uh, th there is stuff that you can do, but still it is very bugged like I already said. It needs it needs time, but hopefully, and it will. Hopefully, it will in the future just be amazing. It'll be such a great application, and yeah, instead of going and playing some Need for Speed games on your cell phone, you gotta entertain yourself in the uh, Warframe Nexus application. Very nice, very cool. Um, that's all I can say. In the future, hopefully, it's gonna be like that. Because right now, you know, just watching and predicting the future, the frame, the application will be cool. Because right now it is not so amazing. Just like I said, I would probably the only case that I would use right now the application is like I already said when you when you're not home, when you're I don't know in school, on your job, somewhere out, and you don't have access to your computer, and just you just want to do something in Warframe, put something to build, I don't know, remember something, and. Yeah, you can simply do that with this application, I guess. Like I already said, it has tons of bugs. Uh, it also glitches at the loadings, you know, accessing your arsenal. I don't know, it glitches to me a lot when I access the arsenal and all that stuff. Hopefully patchable, hopefully uh, fixable. Again, you can simply access uh, the application from the Play Market, typing Warframe. It's, the application is called Warframe Nexus. And I also just remembered as I'm seeing the footage again, you can put some extractors. That's the coolest thing. You can put some extractors on any planet, probably where you have the maps, all of the maps unlocked. You can put, as you can see, I'm trying to put here the uh, the the Titan extractor on Jupiter. Yeah, yeah. So this is how it works. This is how the new updated Warframe Nexus application on Android looks like. Yeah, I guess there's nothing more to say. Uh, it's pretty simple to install just like already said please please devs add the the horizontal support mode where you know where we could see everything in flipping wide screen for the win it takes some time as you can see uh, to load all the the pictures the pngs or the gifts whatever they have there of all the you know the the weapons the uh, the warframes or the frames so I guess that's all I wanted to say and talk about in this video about the Warframe Nexus application. Like I already said, I'm giving it like a 6 or a 7 out of 10 because it needs time. Right now at, the, at this current stage, stage uh, it is a 6 or a 6 slash 7 out of 10 because it is kind of buggy. It is kind of slow. It needs an upgrade. So guys, please upgrade the app. Hopefully it's going to be nice with time and yeah. Definitely we will use it if, if it will get better with time. We will definitely use it. So thank you devs for update 18 again Thank you for the, also the application and yeah, I guess thank you guys for watching the video Hope you had fun and we'll see you in the next video till then to know Crazy rushing a huge amount of trainings laying down in your base. We're gonna break down the nasty plans for your maniac mates. We are the Rev X Dev, mighty rebels are ready. Sit steady, or you're gonna face a flipping chatty machete. Already gone, hunger with every charge. Just got your silly brains for the game. You can't aim, I call you lame fame. You think you're nigga, you have no flipping mess to pull the flipping trigger. Bang, bang, we're here. We're here to make the freaking fakers disappear You hear it, you better hear it Cause we'll come on the trail, drill, kill, bill And show you the skill You better stay still and watch Watch, watch the mighty film